In this video, we want to demonstrate how to uh, loop on all the worksheets of a specific file. And uh, to uh, demonstrate that it works, we're just going to loop on all of those uh, worksheets and display their name in a message box. So uh, to do so, uh, we're going to use mainly uh, two uh, variables. One that is uh, called current file as workbook and one as ws underscore sheet uh, for uh, any kind of worksheet. So the first thing we're going to do is identify the current file. So we're going to say set current file equals active workbook. So, uh, so far so good. And then we're going to loop on all uh, the worksheets. To do so, we're going to say for uh, i equals one, two, and then that's when we're going to use the variable current file dot worksheets dot count. So this allows us to uh, know how many worksheets we have in this file. And so we're going to go from one to uh, however, um, much we have in this file and in this loop for uh, next the uh, first thing we want to do is identify uh, the worksheet in the loop so we're going to say set ws sheet equal current file dot worksheets and then we're going to say i so this is going to uh, be replaced by the variable with um, um, where we are in the loop more or less and then we're going to display uh, the name of this worksheet so we're going to say the current worksheet in position and then that's when we're going to use the variable i so we know if it's the position one two three four five whatever has the following name and then we're going to display the name by using uh, the variable ws um, underscore sheet dot name and uh, that should be it so i'm just going to uh, launch the macro and then we can see the current worksheet in position one has the following name sheet one so so far so good same for the uh, uh, number two same for the number three same for the number four then the number five should be home so that's when we can uh, check that it works without any issue and then the number six is a uh, sheet five which is uh, correct also so we did loop on all of those worksheets and we were able to uh, identify each and every one of those so that's how you can do it and of course once you identify the worksheet in the loop here you can actually add any code that you may uh, want to actually run on all those individual worksheets.